Hey everybody, we're on this T42 or another Terraria gameplay. And today we're going to be uh, continuing where we left off in, in search of new types of ores and materials to upgrade our gear. So we're going to be looking at uh, where we left off, of course. So here I found something interesting. Uh, this is Tunsite Ore. I found some before um, and I created a, uh, a bow out of it. It's a pretty good material. We're still in search of uh, platinum, however. But this is good enough right now. It's a decent upgrade. Way better than what we have now, which is the Cactus Harbor. So we're getting some tongue side ore here. There we go. Good haul. Okay, so I found some pretty interesting stuff. I dug up my way down here. I don't know what this is. It looks like corpses. Well, this is iron, obviously. But this... I don't know what that was. Um, but we got iron. We also have some more copper. And there's a little vase right there, a vase vase. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna be talk, saying them. Well, I'm gonna be mentioning them in both terms, vase and vase. So rope. Technically, that seems to be what the norm is with those things. It's usually rope. So we're gonna get this copper ore that's here. Looks like there's another. There's two vases in there, vases. So let's get the copper ore. There's some on top too. Sweet. Oh, we got potion. That's nice. I see a jellyfish up there. And I see some tonsite ore. I need that. I want to make the tonsite armor because it looks really cool. So, am I capped? I don't know. What's, what's in here? Ooh, that looks like sapphire. That's cool. Ooh, there's platinum. That's definitely really good. Oh, this is great. Nice, nice haul here, though. Nice load. So, what's up? Uh, oh, red slime. That's no good. So, we're going to get um, the copper here. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> it's funny how the water is not going through that block. Alright, let's move this here. Cause I know where the good stuff is, but let's get the non-good stuff first. I wonder what we could make with Sapphire. Got a platform here. Perfect. Alright, you gotta just be careful, don't get the water in here. That's all the sapphire can get, right? I think so. Yeah. Let's get the ton side ore next. And we'll make our way down to the plat platinum. Ton side ore armor looks really cool. The platinum, not so much. But we can make a platinum uh, rod. Which will be our first magic item. Unfortunately, we do need some more shooting stars. I want to dedicate an episode to that. Just gathering stars. Because we can make more mana crystals out of that. And with the mana crystals, you have more mana to use your magic. Since I'm going for mage. Alright. Get some more Tunsite there. Dig downward, get some of that. I also want to upgrade the uh, pickaxe I'm using now. Uh, the point of upgrading it is you'll be digging a lot faster. So hopefully when you get a drill, it gets even, <laughs> even faster than anything. With the remaining Tunside Ore. I see spider webs in there. And look at the real money here. The real prize. Platinum. This is a nice node. Wow. I see red slime down there. Did not expect to find all this under my house. Great place to start. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So anything else here I need to know about? Found so many good stuff. So much good stuff. I see oh I see a cave here. Hold on, what is this? Uh oh. What is that? Oh I see some copper. This is like a spider's den. Is this a dungeon? Oh, I think this is a dungeon. This is interesting. Mossy stone box. This is really interesting. Alright, let's put the platform up. I hear bats. What is this? Okay, looks like a sword I just knocked out. So this isn't a dungeon. I see, I think those are cobwebs. This slime though. 
Let's blast it with our enchanted boomerang. That is a lot of copper. Oh, sweet. All right. Hearing explosions. That's the cobweb. See how, how slowly I descend? Yeah, I'm stuck in the webs. And I see Ruby here. I actually, I know exactly what the sapphire is used for. You can make uh, magical staffs out of it, rods. There is a ruby rod and a sapphire rod. I don't know about emerald though, because I do recall curating a sapphire rod. But this isn't even ruby, this is amethyst. It's purple. Okay. Hmm. Wish I could see further. At least it's not like Minecraft where the, uh, the silt stuff just falls on your head. This is nice. I could keep exploring here, but I'm not going to explore that area. Let me, uh, make a platform. I have a double jump. Anything down here? This ore looks interesting. I also need to go over the other, yeah, well, there, the other side. What is this? Oh, it's iron ore. That's why it looked interesting. We found some iron ore. We found a lot more, too. There's some right here. Give me a torch. Oh no, it's straight down. Okay, right under us. Nice. We're definitely getting an armor upgrade here. There's just magic to this. Oh, and I see the, um... I see some glowing blue stuff. You see that? Yeah, I don't think we can mine that right now. But we'll get to it. I think it's a hard mode thing? I don't know, I need that. Check. There's a there's a bat right under underneath us too. Let's dump all this water. What what is this? That's a slime. This that looks weird. Let's chunk the boomerang down there. See what happens. That's a that's a blue bat. It's he's gone. <laughs> come on slime, go again, jump. One more time, come on slime. Gotcha. All right. What is all this? Wow, what is this? Oh, wow, that was a stack of coins. That's cool. I'm worried about these bats. <laughs> okay, at least I can attack them. Nice. My brain is quick. <laughs> That's a lot of bats. Ooh. Nice. All right. That stuff, I don't think we can mine it. I'm going to try. I just have a feeling that it's not going to work. All right, so we got uh, dig past that area we were in with the ton site. Found some copper, and I decided to keep digging it. We'll keep digging. And uh, I think I found something else here. This could possibly be iron. I think so. And some more copper down there. And we have uh, a slime coming. So I got this cool upgrade on the uh, on our boomerang. It was a uh, combined with a uh, shooting star. We made ourselves an enchanted boomerang. So, uh, it does more damage. So, I'll take it. Um, yeah, so let's not mine this actually. What is this? Iron ore. Okay, cool. It's really good. It's a decent upgrade as well. Any type of material is fine. So, right now I'm right under the house actually. So, if you look at the mini map, expand it. Well, it's as good as it's going to get. I'm actually right under the ho our, our starting house, so. We didn't really have to travel far to get some good uh, materials to craft. So uh, let me grab this copper. I should have enough, to be honest, to make something different. I just started crafting uh, the copper armor, because it's better than the cactus, regardless. So that was a, an investment that I had to take, uh, more than uh, focusing on weapons. It's already had most of the copper weapons, so I use other materials that I obtain to create the weapons, like 
Tug Sight for the bow. This, oh, hold on, we have, a, we have a visitor. And this is a zombie hand I got from killing zombies at night. Does more damage than a copper sword, so. Wonder if it went away. That was a worm, by the way. Huge sidetrack right there. Segway. But, uh, land. let's, uh, make my way here to see what else I can find. It's really dark down here, so. Might find something good. So I reached this ore and I can't mine it. This is demonite ore. This is a specific ore that only spawns in the corruption. So if you pick crimson instead of corruption when you started the game, you won't see this. Yours will be red, um, which is crimnite, crimnite, something like that. So I can't mine this yet. I need a higher pickaxe power. Now you might be saying, what the heck do you mean? What the heck's a pickaxe power? Well, if you look at your pickaxe here, See, is this 35% pickaxe power? Yeah, you need 55 to mine that. So, if I find gold, which I think it's either this down here, or this is topaz, or one or the other. This is probably topaz, yep. Um, gold pickaxes might be enough to mine the demonite orb. But, um, yeah. I have never found actual gold <laughs> bricks in this game. Um, I'll put a link in the description of all the type of bricks that you'll find. It's pretty basically what I used to figure out what the heck I'm doing and what the heck I'm finding. So there's something here I want to see. What is this? It's, let me see. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's just silt. Okay. So there's a lot of enemies over here that they uh, really, really are rushing in. So get rid of that. We did we did really well actually. Um, let's uh head back to the house. Uh, let's see what we can actually build. Alright, we're back at the house. And obviously, with all the ores that we obtained, we're going to make some bars out of them. So, we made some 16 copper bars. We're going to make some iron ore bars. So, iron bars. We now have a total of 29 iron bars. Uh, platinum bars. We have 13 total. And tonsite. We made 6. We have 9 total. What can we make with all of this? Well, let's go to our little craft station here. Um, we can make a minecart. Not bad. Platinum weapons. Iron armor. Okay. Tonsite armor. Any of that? Not enough to make a whole copper set. And just colored torches. Can't make anything Tunsite related. That's not good. So look in here, all we can make is a copper helmet and some iron ore uh, equipment. Iron greaves or iron helmet. So we're gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna continue going, hopefully, and uh, we get to find something good. I could use my platinum to upgrade the weapons right now. Um, I actually will with the platinum pickaxe. Look at that, 59 pickaxe power? Yeah. If I could only make the um, the rod though. I need more sapphire to do it though. That's fine. I'm gonna definitely get this and replace it, definitely. Use all my platinum, but it's all good. Anyways, that's it, that's it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm running the Street 4-2 and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.